First of all, wait, 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 wait. Can we, can we talk about? Did you see the most recent video that Mayweather put out of him talking in the in the octagon and stuff? It was like just. I no. literally <clears throat> just watched that video like seconds before Eddie sent the leak. And he was like, Money Mayweather in the octagon 2018. What's the odds? <laughs> yeah, Dude, that was. It was fucking annoying is what it was. But all right, that's a great place to start. So you answer that question, <laughs> boys. What's the odds? What's the odds we see that cute little prick actually fight? And let's be honest, he ain't fighting nowhere but the UFC. So what's the odds? that Floyd Mayweather actually fights in the UFC in 2018. Dude, come on, man. I mean, look, can, can Floyd Mayweather, like, can his ego take an L anywhere? You know what I mean? That's the question to me. If his ego can take an L anywhere, right, and he, he doesn't mind going in there and getting subbed or getting head kicked real quick, okay, th then the odds are good. But I don't think that's possible. I think it's just, like, marketing bullshit to keep his name out there. Uh, Jesse, what do you think before I go in? Um, okay, so I have a different perspective on Mayweather. Um, mm. So I, I, I would I would say that the only reason that Mayweather does anything is, yes, to keep his name out there, but also because he's confident in his abilities to do something that he's putting him, his mind to. Um, so I think if he puts his mind to it, I, I, I think there's a possibility that he could do it just because – of the amount of money that would generate plus i mean let, let's be real um the only big card coming up this year is that three title fights with uh several divisions being held up mm -hmm. you know six different champions on that one card and that card might not even be the best pace selling pay-per-view that the ufc has put on right like it might not do the gang gangbusters of numbers so at this point, if you can put Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor in an octagon, I mean, if I were, you know, Endeavor, I, I'd, I'd shell out a lot of money to make that happen. All right, so what would you take on it, Fred? Because, I mean, look, I, clearly you always have like a different point of view that I don't even think about. So what, what do you think about this shit? I, I tell you what, man. Um, I'm going to go out on a, a little bit of a limb here, and I'm going to say that we see this happen. No shit. I think that Floyd Mayweather fights in the octagon in 2018. I don't know if he'll fight Connor. I don't know if that's the way they'll go with it. I think that the gap has been bridged with WME taking over Zufa now. And I think that we're officially in the new era. And the new era is all about the Cheddar. And one thing that Floyd Mayweather definitely does is bring a lot of money and asses and seats. And he brings a lot of requests, even in uh, yeah. boxing. That was kind of part of the problem always is that Floyd always wanted too much. But I think, and, and you know, years ago, the Connor Floyd thing would have never happened in boxing right. because I don't think DW and the Fertitas would have gave up that much power negotiating wise i just don't think they'd have done it a while back if they would have they probably would have done it with anderson silva and uh roy jones they kind of had that moment they with that. It, would, it wouldn't have quite been this but they had a small moment there where it would have been something like this you know what i'm saying but i just think that the that they're they're willing to bend now wme is willing to bend to make money in ways that zufa wasn't the belts mean less the integrity, the integrity of the whole fucking sport means a bit less now to WME, especially if there's a fucking billion dollars on the line. Also, I think they'll let Floyd hand pick his opponent. And I think that if Floyd can get the right fight, the right name, and I, see, I'm not thinking Connor. Mm. I'm thinking... Uh, CM Punk. <laughs> nah, nah, not even that, man. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Um, you know, not hoist, but somebody like that. A legend that's a bit over the hill that doesn't pose a massive, you know, he's not going to fight a fucking Darren Elkins. He's not going to take a fight where somebody's going to make him look like an idiot. I don't even think he'd take a fight against Connor in MMA because he knows what time it is. But I think if Floyd can get the right matchup, um, you know, I, nobody's really coming to mind, but like, 
a Matt Hughes, Hoist Gracie, Chuck Liddell type. I realize none of these characters would work, but you dig what I'm saying. Right, right, right. BJ Penn, maybe. I was about to say that. I was about to say BJ Penn. Something like like that, where you can sell it like, yo, if BJ gets the takedown, he's fucked. But what if he don't? What if BJ tries to get cute for one minute and Floyd can knock BJ out? I think if Floyd can push it and get a name and a and a and a style matchup that he loves, the MMA can sell a little bit. Like, yeah, of course BJ's old and he's slow, but what if BJ (laughs) pulls a, a a a Randy Couture and just dives on an ankle? I tell you what. I'd watch fucking BJ Penn versus Floyd Mayweather. Book it, fucking Sean Shelby. Write me a check later. That's your fucking fight right there. I bet you Floyd thinks he can win that one, and that's a legend. Yeah, it's it's fucking ridiculous. It's 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 a weird. God, you're almost selling me on the shit. Fucking okay. because <laughs> anyone mean, has I, the ego, if anyone has the ego to stand with Floyd Mayweather, it's BJ Penn. And listen, here was the thing. I'm sorry, but, but here here yeah, was yeah. your point to your point about Floyd being able to take a loss. Yeah, Do yeah. I think that Floyd will come back and box Lomachenko? Not in a million years. No way. But take a fight in MMA, make another six, seven hundred million, and maybe get subbed out. Who gives a fuck? What's Floyd care? He'll be like, so what? I'm still a beast because I went and tried. And look, what yeah. other he'll have that in his hat. Like, yeah. I, I listen, even if it was BJ Penn or somebody, I'd have to give it to him. If he actually laced up them little gloves and gets that octagon. I'll give fucking Floyd Mayweather a little credit, and I think most of us would. And, and if he loses in MMA, he's still 50-0 in boxing. He still yeah. keeps that. He's still the GOAT there. It's like Michael Jordan going to play baseball. Of course he sucked at baseball, but it didn't. we still call him the GOAT in basketball. Motherfuckers still swear he's better than LeBron. He can a bit more beat LeBron in a game of one-on-one than the man on the moon. Oh, you're gonna start some shit. Someone else here said, "Um, uh, fucking uh, no, it's a good point." Though. No, um, but look, and I had someone try to sell me this thing today. It was like, look, if if Floyd could just fucking train, like take down defense for six months, all right, who's gonna stand with him? No, that's that's not how it works, man. Yeah, it's not at all. Well, how man, it works. That's goofy. That's goofy because you have leg kicks and everything. He doesn't yeah. just have to do a little bit of that. Um, yeah, like or, boxing or... stance, like boxing stance works if you're not getting the shit kicked out of your legs. First of all, right, right, right. Yeah. And and that's what he's got is boxing stance and stuff like that. So it'd be, I think it'd be too much too too, too weird a weird thing. I think I'm I'm with you, Fred. If it happens, it's a showcase thing, almost like a freak sure. fight, like Bellator style. Sure, sure, right? sure. And listen, the UFC probably would have never entertained that three or four years ago. But now, if they can get Floyd in the octagon, mm-hmm. they'll probably be like, do whatever you want, Floyd. Fuck it. But you know what? We'll even bend the rules a little bit. You want one round where you can only box? Fair enough. Just come do it. Like, yeah. I don't think WME gives a shit about the integrity of MMA. No. If they have to bend a little to get him in there and to make a big money fight like that happen, I think WME will very, very likely be like, fucking A, how do we make this happen? Yeah, yeah. For, uh, Jesse? No, um, I was just going to point to everybody that has uh, this idea of, you know, that he has boxing in his back pocket. He just has to train something. I would point you to that Ben Askren uh, podcast he did with uh, Joe Rogan where yeah. he talked about how, you know, he took, uh, what was it, just six months off of uh, wrestling, uh, didn't get into a wrestling, uh, you know, uh, training camp and just uh, trained his uh, kickboxing striking with Duke Rufus and he couldn't, he couldn't wrestle. And, you know, a lot of people would find that ridiculous or just like stupid, but it really is. You need to keep your tools sharp and everything. And if you don't do it, I mean, you know, you're going to lose it. And for Floyd to be successful, I mean, he'd have to just, you know, immerse himself in being an MMA fighter. And and, and again, my perspective is different because I know a few people that uh, are close to him and, you know, have worked with him before. And I just think that Floyd would not be doing something like this unless he was already had stuff in, in place. He's already pretty confident that if this goes through he's prepared and and ready to put in the work and be successful or at least you know be happy with his performance in what he does and i agree with fred if you could get a bj penn or somebody that's you know know, even though i don't think it would probably be something like that i still think that they would probably strip connor and then put connor in like this like epic you know showdown you know beat him uh he got beat in boxing now he's gonna you know 
take his revenge in MMA or something like that. You know, there's so many ways you could sell a, a fight like that. And I think that's what we'd be looking at probably, you know, mid-year later down the line, I, I, I would think. By the way, did you guys see that, uh, what was it, Lomachenko? He tweeted out something about, you know, fighting uh, TJ or something. Uh, jokingly, and everybody like jumped down his throat yeah, about it. Yeah. It's like, man, can't joke out here no more or something like that. Well, no, he he. Then he put out a video of him, him wrestling. He was yeah. like suplexing into some dude. Yeah, Cody Garbrandt actually uh, retweeted that, and then I retweeted that. Cody Garbrandt was like, "Shit, I respect you, Chet, but this ain't this ain't that." Stay in your lane. <laughs> I I love it though, man. Honestly, like I, I hope they do do it. And you know what? Listen, man. I don't like Floyd, and Floyd's a very easy person to make fun of because he makes it very easy on himself. Um, but you do got to give Floyd a little bit of credit in that the dude's obviously super competitive. He's been a competitor his whole life. So if Floyd, by some chance, did get a little hair up his ass and just felt like doing something else to take on a challenge, it wouldn't be that surprising. I know Floyd's easy to make fun of, and it's easy to say that he avoided tough competition and shit, but at the end of the day, I do think that Floyd Mayweather is a fighter, and I do think that he enjoys a a, a challenge. And so, uh, you know, giving Floyd a little bit of credit, I, I think that maybe some of this could be intriguing to him. You know, and plus it's a massive payday. Yeah, like whenever it. whenever people talk about Floyd Mayweather, especially when, they, you know, when people try to shit talk, I'm like, yeah, did he pick his opponents? Sure. Was he smart with timing and when he fought certain people? Absolutely. Sure. That being said, still the king of hating and not getting hit. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and, that, takes, and that takes years of discipline and, and wanting to be the best and striving and shit. So, yeah, man, if he, if he – to think that Floyd Mayweather could just want a massive challenge – doing something different, making a lot of money. And listen, it's probably exciting, right? He's been boxing his whole life. He gets to lace up the MMA gloves and do that whole thing. Just as it was exciting for Connor to come do it in boxing, it would probably be really neat for Floyd to do it. Like, don't get me wrong. If I had to bet my kid's life on it, probably not. But to have a little bit of fun, I would not necessarily, you know, say that it's out of the realm of possibility at all. Like, I could see Floyd – maybe entertaining this with the right situation all right so and, and uh what up oh and, and i was just gonna say and think about it a lot of mma guys go through his uh gym in las vegas uh most notably i think i remember hearing that uh uh king mo would train out of there a lot um and a lot of other other fighters would go through there and train uh at the mayweather gym so i mean he already has a lot of contacts in the mma uh you know sphere so I don't think I, I think like Fred is saying, you know, you, you got to give that guy credit. Fifth or OK, 49 professional fighters went through, went up to challenge him and all of them got turned away. It, it takes a special type of dude to even, you know, like you guys are saying, picked his matches, whatever, whatever. There's still 49 guys that he had to fight that couldn't beat him. So, right. I mean, that's still that still takes a lot of skill and determination. And, you know, imagine that same drive uh, put put forth into an MMA career or at least just one fight. I mean, that, that would be pretty special in my opinion.